Gauteng Cooperative Governance MEC Lebohang Mayile is set to visit Tembisa this morning to address community members after those violent protests there this week. Residents barricaded roads uh, with rocks and burning tires and set several municipal buildings alight. And uh, there are various issues that they've raised, including the high cost of living, uh, power cuts in the area, and the list goes on and on. Let's bring in the MEC ahead of that uh, visit. Lebo Khang Mayile joins us via our video link this morning. MEC, thanks very much indeed for your time. Tell us about the scope of your visit to Tembisa this morning. Thank you very much for having us, and um, good morning to you and the viewers at home. Um, what is happening in Tembisa is definitely a concern to all of us, and we uh, we have invited the mayor to join us because, as you know, that most of the issues that are being raised, if not all, are issues that require the mayor to the mayor and the municipality to respond. Uh, but as the MEC responsible for local government in the province, um, we also thought that it's important that um, we facilitate this uh, discussion and ensure that we uh, call for an end to violent uh, protests and um, an end as well to um, uh, uh, a violent response from the police and the willingness on the part of the uh, uh, municipality to uh, listen, sit down and respond to the grievances which are genuine. But we also want to um, convey our condolences to the bereaved uh, families. As you know, there is about four deceased uh, people as a result of this uh, protest. So we will be visiting the families and we also would like to um, give feedback to the community uh, and indicate to them that we are having these discussions. We, are, we, 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 have, we, are, we have brought the municipality on the table and we believe that uh, they can find an amicable solution. Have you had a response from the office of the mayor, Tanya Campbell, on whether she will be joining you this morning on your visit there? I actually spoke to her on the phone last night, um, early evening, and she indeed confirmed that she will be joining us. I mean, you know, the visit is one thing. There's that memorandum of demands from residents as well. How do we move forward on, on what residents have raised uh, in Tembisa, in a space where there, there are now several buildings that have been damaged? There's a library as well that has been uh, set alight. Municipal buildings have also gone up. Um, in flames in some respects, that they, they've been heavily damaged. Um, I understand that residents now need to go quite a way to pay their municipal bills because the local municipal office was damaged as well um, in those protests this week. But essentially what I'm asking you, MEC, is, you know, it, it can't just be a visit for the cameras today. How do we move the dial on the demands that residents have put on the table? Unfortunately, I don't like cameras. Um, so it's that, that the cameras are there and we would have to speak to them in, um, uh, as part of accountability, uh, but we never post for the cameras. So it's very um, important that we deal with the issues, as you correctly say, because these are not uh, small matters. Uh, these are issues that impact the lives of the Tembisa residents and not just the Tembisa residents. And because we are committed to this issue and not obsessed with ourselves and cameras, we have already had a discussion and an agreement, for instance, with the Minister of Public Enterprises yesterday uh, through a text uh, that there will be a meeting with the mayors uh, in, in Houghton on some of the issues that are frustrating them in relation to electricity. Because you will know that there are issues that the Tembisa residents have raised, and those issues will require a national and ESCOM to resolve. Mm. But there are issues that uh, require the municipality to resolve, and we will urge the municipality 
to move uh, quicker and resolve those issues. One of the issues that is affecting not only the Tembisa residents is the issue of um, the building. It affects all of us, all of us. Uh, I'm affected uh, as I speak to you. There's uh, outages, there's load shading, but we still receive huge bills. So those are some of the issues that uh, we will require uh, municipalities working with national to resolve them. But some of the issues uh, have to do with the municipalities themselves. Uh, Faulty meters has to do with municipalities not doing uh, physical verification of meters and all that. So we are going to raise those issues. And when you look at our statement, we do say that we are visiting today, but later we are going to have a press briefing to deal with these issues in detail. But we don't want to deal with them uh, without involving the municipalities. And that's why we would be calling an urgent meeting with the mayors, for instance, to deal with the issue of billing amongst uh, others. There's issue of tariffs. There are mm-hmm. tariffs that uh, are linked to national tariffs like electricity and water. But there are tariffs that have to do with waste collection, um, <clears throat> with the graves and, 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 and so, so, so on and so forth, which uh, are in the uh, uh, domain of the municipalities and municipalities can do something about it. So we don't want to just uh, put everything in one basket and uh, be not clear on what is it that must be discussed and resolved by the municipalities alone and what is it that can be uh, discussed and resolved by the municipalities working with other spheres of government. That's why we've got uh, a department responsible for cooperative governance Mm. is to facilitate and coordinate, which is what we're doing. So it has to be looked into context and uh, it, it must not be associated with cameras. Right, right. I mean, the other issue, MEC, is that, you know, residents in Tembisa have, for weeks now, had smaller protests than the one uh, we've seen unfolding this week. The issue of billing, as you say, is high up on the agenda there with electricity cuts. But they also talk about the rising cost of living, the rising cost of food and fuel, high unemployment rates that that's what they are really struggling with in their community. I suppose the question is, you know, why, why do residents need to take to the streets in the manner that they've done this week to get the attention of those in power? It's true. The cost of living has been going high. And uh, as you would have seen, the president attempted last week to deal with the issue of energy, the comprehensive plan, and, and there was no protest there. Um, the, the, the Minister of Minerals and Energy um, has, um, has, has gazetted the, 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 the issue of um, uh, petrol, how we want to um, regulate it differently. Um, there are interventions about uh, little less it is, the 350, that is given since the um, uh, since the COVID-19. So there, there are a number of interventions that uh, have been taking place. So it's not like government is uh, not doing anything at all. Perhaps the question is, whatever uh, efforts and initiatives that government is doing, are they enough or not? I mean, we continue to give people houses. We build, uh, for instance, in Gauteng, but we've, we have one million people who need houses. And for us to build a million houses, we'll need about 900 billion. Our budget is about uh, 5 billion. So they are objective and subjective realities. And that's why at all the times we have to um, uh, keep our people uh, informed and constantly have um, interactions with them. But most importantly, get government and its employees to at least spend what they have. Because one of the biggest problems is that in certain instances, even if the resources are minimal, we don't spend. And that's one of, one of the biggest uh, problems we are facing. So uh, people don't have to um, uh, protest for government to respond. Government is responding every day. The question is whether that response is adequate or not. 
and we can have that debate, yeah. um, me and you, uh, it's not a problem. But um, to say it's not responding, it's not accurate. Yeah. I'd love to have that conversation with you. But for now, let's leave it there. Gauteng Cooperative Governance MEC Lebo Hang Meile joining us there ahead of his own visit to Tembisa this morning. Confirmation there as well that the Ekuruleni Mayor, Tanya Campbell, will now also be uh, joining him on that visit there, as has been the demand from residents for almost a week now.